Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. It's finally time to show you guys our full apartment makeover and renovation. It came out amazing. This is our first time doing any anything like this, like any type of renovation, makeover, and I really honestly think that we did an amazing job. And we've been using it for the past few months and everything has been holding up really, really well. Let me just go ahead and show you guys what it used to look like before and now we can see how it looks now. So starting off with the entrance to the apartment, we've got these stairs. So the stairs used to be complete carpet all the way down, and we didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, so once we removed the carpet, we decided to just paint all of the stairs. So we could have got like stair uh, tread caps and stuff like that, but we just painted the top of it. We actually stained it black, and then put a poly coat on top, and then painted the inside of it white, so like a glossy white, and it just looks amazing, and it's, it's wearing out really, really well. I mean, there's no wear on it and we've been using it for quite a few months. So first we just take our shoes off down here and then just walk up. 
All of the wear and tear usually happens from our kids, which are our dogs. We've got a Shiba Inu, and then we've got a toy poodle. But anyways, just go on up and let's see the rest of the apartment. So right up here, here's the entrance to the apartment. But we've got a closet right here. The apartment is very small, so there's not a lot of storage. So this closet is very important. This is where we keep some of our clothes and all of that. We also changed out the, all the blinds in the whole apartment. They used to be all these green blinds that were just really, really bad. We ended up putting these two inch faux wood blinds um, that they're available at Walmart. All the stuff that we're gonna be using and talking about is gonna be linked in the description below. But anyways, yeah, so these are two inch blinds and they just look great and they fit in this space really, really well. And they're the cheapest that we found. Yeah, they're like 24 or $25 depending on the size, which is a bargain, honestly. Now with the closet and everything else in the apartment, we've changed all of the hardware. All this hardware we got off of Amazon and right now, I guess matte black is in, so everything is matte black. So there's the closet. None of my stuff is in there because obviously <laughs> I, have, I have more than enough space and two small drawers. <laughs> yep, okay. Well, also, this closet organization thing is also off of Amazon. We'll have that link down there too. Oh yeah, it's actually really nice. I didn't want everything hanging because more clothes fit in there like that, so yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what the dogs are doing. Ready? Oh, they're actually in their beds. Never mind. <laughs> so when you enter, first thing you notice is our kids' eating station. So the dogs, we've got both of their bowls, their water right there. Then we've got plants and we've got a lot of decoration and all that. Here they come, we're talking about them. So here's the Sheba puppy. She's not really a puppy anymore. She's about a year old. And this is our toy poodle. He's been with us for six years. Amazing. No, oh my God. <laughs> it's like you're reviewing the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and this is our toy poodle. We get it. I'm... Okay, whatever. So a lot of the decoration and stuff, we just found bargains for. So most of the stuff came from like uh, TJ Maxx, Home Goods and stuff like that. Whenever we saw something on clearance or something that we liked that was a good deal, we just went ahead and got it. So as you'll see throughout the whole apartment, we try to keep all of the tones with like a wood tone, white, matte black. We also have a lot of greenery from all the plants. So we just wanted to keep it like, you know, everything light, but still feel like it's a little warm. And I think we did that really well and it feels amazing for us, honestly. So here's our entry table. This is where usually all the junk resides, but right now obviously everything is clean. So we've got these floating shelves. These are actually from Ikea. We've got a lot of decoration on there as well. We've got some books. I hate reading, but she likes to read, so those are her books. Here's the kitchen. We have a whole separate video on the kitchen. That'll be linked down below, so make sure you check that out. That'll reveal the kitchen, how it used to be, and what all we did with it. Now, coming into the living room, it's all one big room, but it's still somewhat separated. So we've got the living room. We've got all these light fixtures, also from Amazon. We changed all the bulbs to 4K, um, and that is also linked on Amazon. The 4K light, it just feels really, really like daylight as opposed to 5K or higher, which feels a little bit bluer. We wanted to mimic the sun, and I think we did that really well with this light. Now, as I was saying before, this apartment has been lived in for the past few months. And our, our Shiba puppy, Callie, she was teething while we were in this apartment when we first moved in. So there's a lot of signs of that, especially right here. So we had everything repainted and everything, all of this trim was redone. And for some reason, Callie thought this was her toy and she just started chewing it up. And now here's our all of our entertainment. We've got the Xbox, the consoles, TV, and all of that. This mantle, we actually just repainted it. It used to be a beige tile, but we just primered and painted it black. We've got clips of that, which we'll insert here.
And we do have this fireplace that was already in here, but we don't use the fireplace. It is a gas fireplace. They just don't have it vented properly and we never needed it. So we, we didn't really mess with it, but it looks good. So it's a good feature to have. So now we've got this rug and this coffee table. This coffee table came off of Amazon. We'll have that link down below as well. This rug was from Sam's Club. It was on sale and it looks really great. It fits in this space along with all the other colors that we have for the decoration. So we got like the blue painting. We've got all the dogs toys down there. That way they stay organized. And this couch has been through a lot. So we've had this couch for a few years. It was in California. It used to be in the office of the shop. And I mean, it's, we didn't see the need of buying a whole nother couch because we're not really, you know, on it that much. So we just decided to stick with this. And then for the house, we'll go all out and do all that. Oh, and also the plants from Amazon. It actually was like little and now it grew so much. So I definitely recommend that plant. Um, I'll link it down below as well. So, um, and if you guys shop through the Amazon links, we obviously get a little bit of percentage. Yes. So thanks for that. Yes. Now, don't mind the mobile workstation there, the printer. We don't really, like I said, we don't have too much storage space. So that's just a wireless printer. It just stay, stays on top of there. We use it whenever we need to and it just stays out of the way. It's perfect. Now, for us, it's only usually us two here and then we've got the, the dogs. So we don't really need like a whole dining table or anything. So this was a perfect solution for us was this bar that was actually already there. It was just a laminate surface and we repainted that as well. That you'll see in the kitchen video. But we also found these three bar stools. So we found these bar stools like on offer up and we got them for a steal. We got all three for like $75 and each one of them at like uh, at home, that's the store, they're about $100 each. So we got that for a steal. And this is honestly, this is the best thing for us as far as dining situation goes. You can make the food right there, put it straight onto the food, onto the bar and eat right here, eat right here without making a mess anywhere else. Now, she told me not to say it, but this is where the magic happens. Or, or so you so would think, cringy. you would think the magic happens here, but honestly, all of the magic happens right here on this desk. This is the whole editing station. All of our questions that we answer for people, all that stuff happens here. I actually built both of these computers. So this computer I built when we were back in college. This was my original gaming computer. And then I actually built this, it's, it's actually a Hackintosh. So it's all custom stuff that I built, but we use this as our editing rig. Um, it's got Mac OS X on it, and you can you know, pretty much edit any kind of video on there, 4K, whatever you wanna do. It handles everything, it's a beast. So once again, this desk also has the wood legs, and it's just a white, clean surface. And I mean, it works really well. And we use this for our editing station and everything. The screen is a curved screen. It just makes it easier for her to edit. We'll have that link down there as well. So here's our bed now. This bed is actually really, really comfortable. It's a king size bed. The frame and everything we got from Living Spaces. It's got built-in storage. So these are my two drawers for all of my clothes. And the actual mattress itself we got off of Amazon a couple of years back. It's a hybrid mattress, so it's got springs as well as the memory foam and all that. And it's very, very comfortable. We'll have that link down below as well. You can see how comfortable it is. She is knocked out. She's got her own memory foam bed, but she prefers this one. She really does. <laughs> and this we use because sometimes the dogs, it's hard for them to jump on the bed. So we usually scoot it near the bed and they hop on there. And it's also a good solution for more storage. We also got this from Amazon. So as you can see, Callie is not camera shy. She just wants to be in the camera the whole time. But we've got this nightstand. It's actually supposed to be a mini dresser. We just wanted something that had a little bit more storage and it works perfectly as a nightstand for us as well. So we've got like, you know, more stuff to store in there. Makes it a lot cleaner for everything. So now let's move on to the bathroom. This is probably the best, you know, upgrade that we've done. We actually relocated the entrance from the bathroom as well. And then we changed everything in here, which also has a whole separate video, but we'll show you guys a quick run through. Yeah, so we learned a lot about electrical work and plumbing in this bathroom. And I mean, honestly, we love it. We use it every day, obviously. And it's just really, really... <laughs> nah. <laughs> it, I wouldn't say it's like a spa, but it is kind of like a spa. The a colors... Spa. It's a Yeah, it's a mini spa. But yeah, we've got a whole separate video on this that shows the whole before, during, after, everything. Renovating this apartment was very, very fun. 
but it was also a good challenge for us. I got to learn a lot of new things, electrical, plumbing, the flooring especially. I had never installed any type of flooring before. And we didn't really go all out on the flooring because we wanted to, you know, it was our first time doing it. So we decided to get something that would work for us that looked good with the wood grain, but something that wasn't too expensive. So we got this from Floor and Decor. And as it was my first time installing it, I wasn't really sure of how to do everything. So we did get a few more tools and I figured it out. And here are all the clips of me struggling to install this floor. So here's an update on the floor. You guys saw us do the bedroom floor, which was done a while ago. Yeah. It's probably been like a week and a half, two weeks since we did the bedroom floor. But in between that, we did the kitchen, we did a lot of other things. And for the past day, we've just been, you know, knocking out little things and we're finally getting the floor out into the whole living area. So we've got pretty much a no shoe zone now, which is great, we love that. So we've got the underlayment down. Now we just have to finish this last five, six feet of flooring but that's probably gonna be some of the toughest because we have to carry it out into the stairs. We're not doing the stairs, but the top of the stairs, we have to carry it out of the front door. And then we also have that whole mantle, which, uh, was that what, is it, you call that a mantle in front of the fireplace? On the bottom? Or the uh, mantle's on top? Yeah, so I don't know. So whatever that is underneath. We have to do the whole angle cuts on all of them, which shouldn't be too bad, we can use the miter saw. But we're getting it done. And funny thing is, we got the AC on right now. That's how hot it is. It's like in the 70s in Carolinas right now, which is amazing, except for all this rain. And but I don't know when this is going to go up, but just tell them the yeah. date. So it's like January 13th, 13th, 13th. 13th, 14th, right around there. It's been in the 70s, probably warmer than California right now, except for all this rain. Oh, I hate the rain. But we're living in it. AC's on in December, or not December, in January. Can't complain. So for most of the apartment, we did use that cheap flooring from Floor & Decor, which has actually held up really, really well. You know, there, we haven't had any issues with it, but for the kitchen and for the bathroom, we did splurge on a better floor. Like it's a vinyl, uh, a luxury vinyl tile that's waterproof and everything. And that's also held up really, really well. So now that we're done with this whole apartment, we're really excited to start on the house. This apartment was a whole trial run for us. That way we can get a feel for everything. And then on the house, we're just gonna be redoing everything as well. So hopefully soon you guys will see what the house looks like currently and what we're gonna do with it. So we'll start on that very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole process. We sure did. We will see you guys when we start on the house. Thanks for watching.